Hello, how's everybody doing? So, I completed week one of nurse practitioner school. And, man, um, it's like people say, graduate school is pretty darn intense. Uh, I read a quote where somebody said, it's the equivalent of trying to drink a sip of water from a gushing fire hydrant. I'm starting to see that. Week one wasn't too bad, but you know, it's a lot of getting used to things. I, I came from a, uh, my previous school where we used um, Canvas, uh, was the online platform that we used to get to our classes and our quizzes and our um, PowerPoints and things like that. Um, so with the new school, uh, the nurse practitioner school, we use something called Brightspace, which I'd never used or heard of. I mean, they're all essentially the same, but it's, um, you know, you've got to get used to that. And this school doesn't give you, like most schools give you like a preview week ahead of time um, where you can go in, you can read the syllabus, you can look at like what's going to be due and when. This school didn't have that. So it was like as soon as class opened, boom, there's everything listed out. Um, and then plus, you know, I've had, you know, so, you, so you're trying to read that, trying to figure out where everything is. Luckily in pathophysiology, week one was an introduction week. Um, had a lot of like, you know, you had to do like a, introduce yourself, um, to your classmates and do a post about that and, um, just go over the syllabus and uh, you know some basic PowerPoints that, that schools make you sign like a, a a plagiarism statement stating I will not plagiarize I will not take others words without quotation um, so anyway so you had to do things like that but um, I went ahead and started reading <clears throat> luckily the 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 in patho, the quiz isn't due until week two, the end of week two, and, and the first discussion isn't until week two. So they give you time to read the material. However, it's a lot of material. So by week two, you're supposed to have read six chapters in that huge patho book, and reviewed two chapters, and then plus on top of that, they want you to go over the PowerPoints. So just to put that in perspective, the chapters roughly, the first chapter that I read was about 50 pages. But, you know, the thing is, it's not like reading the cat in the hat. Mm -mm. No, not the cat in the hat. It, it's very, very dense, um, dense reading. You know, there's a lot of new words um, that I've never heard before. I'm like, what is this? Where is this located? Um, which is expected. And I'm excited because I really enjoy learning uh, how things function and, and or dysfunction on a cellular level. You know, learning about uh, the cells and, and how they break down and necrosis and apoptosis and all these different things. And the mechanisms and pathways of how, how they work. Um, you know, the the, the, the the chemistry behind it, the chemical reactions and things. So it's really cool. It's really it's really neat to learn and to get a better understanding of how things can break down and occur uh, genetically and, and, and just in the body on the cellular level. Um, so yeah, so patho isn't too bad so far on assignments. We've got to sign groups for a thing we have to do in group in uh, week three. We had to sign up for that. Like I said, we read the chapters, have a quiz at the end of week two, have a uh, discussion post in week two. Um, I can't remember what it's on. Kleinfelter syndrome, I believe, uh, is my topic. Uh, we each go through, we pick a topic, then we have to write on it, and you're supposed to read everybody's and um, comment on, I can't remember, one or two. So that's patho. And then you have research methods. So in research methods, Week one, they were like, no, nah, right out the gate. There's no orientation in, in research methods. Uh, right out the gate. You've got three chapters you got to read. Have those read by, say, Thursday. 
but really we recommend before Thursday because Thursday you have to post your first discussion post. Um, and it took some time to, to do that discussion post. It was very um, in-depth, uh, the things, you know, you had to find these references and um, you had to use at least three references and, um, you know, cite everything and all that good fun stuff. Uh, a lot of questions, you know, were asked in the discussion post that you had to answer. You know, an overall discussion post, uh, sometimes I think, well, you know, they're kind of useless. But then this one was, I actually learned a lot because I had to find the answer to these questions and post it. And um, you can't really see anybody else's post, uh, I don't think, until I didn't look. Uh, so I don't know, but, but uh, you know. I know at some schools you can look you can look at other people's posts and be like, oh, that's what they put for that. Let me let me just type in those keywords and find that. You know, but um I'm not sure if you can do that here. But um anyway, so yeah, so week one in research methods, you you have one discussion post, um, which is pretty in-depth with a bunch of questions, and then you have to reply to three people's posts, and they have to be you can't be like, Wow, Jill, I see what you did there. Ah, uh, you did a great post. Congratulations. Um, it can't really be, be like that. It has to be, uh, you, you know, you have to find a reference and um, really elaborate and move the conversation. Um, it has to be a substantial post, you know, with some meat and potatoes. But anyway, so they, so they want a good post. Um, so... That's, it's not too bad, though, overall. And, and the reading uh, and research methods, I, I actually enjoy it, believe it or not. The, the, the reading there is, n is not as, as dense, so to speak, as patho. Um, and then at the end of week two, uh, week two coming up, we've got a couple more chapters to read and research methods, another discussion post, of course, and then a quiz at the end of week two. So anyway, it's a lot of stuff. And then on the side, you have this other little... It's like an online orientation. It's not even a class. It doesn't even count for credits. But I, I, I clicked on that. I was like, oh, this should be easy. And there's all this like stuff you got to do. And most of it's just watching, some, you know, some videos, some orienting to, 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 to uh, being a master's, uh, you know, having a graduate level nursing degree. It's all tailored for that, you know, just different. Uh, videos on resources and what you can use and APA guidelines and just different stuff like that that you'll use throughout the program but whew, I don't know if I want to watch all those right now I have until week 8 to finish all those videos and do all that um, so it's not too bad so yeah overall um, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it it's a lot of information so far and it looks like judging by it, it's going to pick up steam Plus, in addition to that, you know, I've got a lot of military stuff I'm doing, a lot of military classes that were due, actually they were due a little while back, I was supposed to have done, uh, that I have to do, and, um, you know, work stuff I have to do, so, it's been fun, it's been real, and it's been real fun, so, anyway, ch uh, check out my, my future videos, I, I know this one's kind of, uh, just last minute because I've been so busy trying to just get acclimated to the new systems and stuff. But, um, yeah, you guys ask me any questions you have and I'll try to do one at least maybe weekly. Uh, we'll, we'll see what week two has. Uh, I gotta get better with this. Uh, may add some graphics and all this fancy stuff that people have on the, on the YouTubes. Um, a lot of people have this, these fancy graphics and stuff and I just have my big head like, Hey guys. But, um, anyway, Y'all have a great rest of the week, and uh, I'm going to go study some more. Goodbye.